Oh, come on. Bronze is bronze real. What's happening? Oh my God, I was gonna say it's a wedding card. Oh my God, what the hell? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we're gonna watch some more House of the Dragon. Season one, we're in, it's episode five. What is this one called, actually? This one is called We Light the Way, which if I remember correctly, is the High Tower um, motto. Yeah, I know. Now then, before we get into the episode, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode and pretty much every other episode of this show and all the other shows that I do, also if you want early access, one, to the full-length reactions, which I upload really early, and then also these YouTube edits, the one that go on YouTube, I upload them early as well to my Patreon. It's all on my Patreon link in description. Check it out. Thank you so much, patrons, for supporting me all this time. And sticking by me, YouTube members, subscribers, viewers, pretty much everyone, man. People who comment, share, like. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you are here watching this along with me. Now then, I love this show so much, man. It is living up to all the expectations. The acting is amazing. The writing is incredible. The dialogues are stupendous. It is Oh, it is everything that I hoped it would be. Honestly, it is. There's a lot of politicking, as Viserys says, and there's a lot of brutal blood, gore, sex, all that, you know, great stuff that was in that show <laughs> as well. But um, yeah, a lot of scheming, a lot of plotting, a lot going on. Now then, Damon and Rhaenyra try to make something happen. Unfortunately, couldn't. Um, this is the second time we're seeing that Damon is unable to get it done. What exactly is going on with that man? I'm not entirely sure. He's a bit of a loony, you know. He's a smart loony, though, that's for sure. He came back for the comforts of home. Now we know what he means by that. <laughs> and uh, Otto Hightower is no longer the hand. I thought that dude, um, I don't know his name. I remember his face, though, who suggested basically that he, uh, to Viserys, that he marries Lena. Um, the, the Valerian's daughter, basically, 12-year-old. Yeah, that's not, like, okay, politically, that's a great move. Morally, <laughs> not so much. But since we are in the world of Westeros, I'm like, okay, that was, his, I would say, sound advice in terms of the politics. Marriage is a political arrangement, after all. And then afterwards, then he suggests, once they get the news about her being betrothed to one of the free cities, uh, Bravos, I believe, one of them. They're like, all right, let's let's make things happen. The Valerians are not too happy with us. Uh, we're losing their support. So then he suggests Ronera and Lenor, Lenor, something like that. Uh, the his son, basically, uh, Coralis's son. And again, that's sound advice in terms of the politics. So I thought he might be a great candidate for the hand we're gonna find out whether the king goes with him or someone else i'm not entirely sure i thought maybe you know what damon might be a good one as well as he does want to be somewhat close to his brother he does care about his brother he cares about well cares about his knees oh the targaryens man even though allison said that he's trying to reduce you by doing such things i don't think that is true damon did however weird this is however messed up this is damon did care for Rhaenyra from the very start he gave her the necklace he consoled her when her mom died i saw that that caring side from damon for her from the very get-go so he might be genuine which i don't i don't know which one's worse the fact that he's genuinely like likes her or that he's doing this just for the throne do you know what i mean <laughs> But yeah, either way, things are heating up. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. So without any further ado, Mountain Dew, here we go. Into episode five, we go. I've yet to listen to the audio companion. I think I might just do it at the end, you know, after finish the series, uh, season. Crab feeder and his men have no reason to leave those caves. We must give them one. This guy. An offering of flesh to bait the crab. Lenor, okay, I was right. It is Lenor. The coupling. Oh, you have ruined her. What lord will wed her now in this? It was actually Kristen. You're already wed. Damon never touched me. I that was a lie. Now that was quite interesting. Her not only swearing, but swearing on the memories of her mother. We know she cares a lot about her mother, so her lying. 
There it is. Let's go. <laughs> Kind of remind me of the um, weirwood trees, you know, and they're bleeding tears. Good morning, Lady Rear. Cousin. What's today's quarry? Rabbit? Deer. Oh, fine challenge. Oh, dear. I'd rather ride alone. <laughs> I was going to say dark clouds, so it's going to be a dark episode but then they showed these nice green fields that's not dark at all so i'm like all right conflicting messages now this is the bronze you know <laughs> you know who <laughs> she's not bro come on do you mm. husband okay come on now the sheeps are prettier really due to the veil Okay, this is the veil. I thought, okay, I thought so, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, have you at last come to consummate our marriage? The veil sheep might be willing. Even <laughs> Tia, after all. Oh, she heard, okay. Or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company. Little girl. Uh-oh, uh the horsey doesn't trust him. You do now. I won't neither. Will you... Strike the child down. Hmm. <laughs> no, he'll try to, you know, do the thing to the sheep that you, you want him to do to the sheep. What? Wait, 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 wait. what's going on? <laughs> oh. What the hell just happened? Why did she do that? Oh, she, 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 she can't move? I knew you couldn't finish. Craven! Whoa, okay then. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I am so confused. What happened there? Why did she b pull the bow on him? <laughs> Is he sick? <laughs> He didn't have a weapon or like a sword or anything on him, so why did she do that? Because it looked like she saw something. I thought she saw like a dagger or a sword or something, like he was gonna kill her or something. But I didn't see anything from him. Oh, I'm not sure. Again, dark clouds. Now earlier we got dark clouds and then it got sunny and like I said, green and lush fields. I was like, oh. But now it's really dark. It's getting rainy as well. And from all accounts, <laughs> someone just died. So, okay. I, I, I think my instinct was correct. It is going to be a dark episode. Think perhaps, but I did not foresee this. You should have. If you had not been so relentless in advancing Echo on his air. Mm, that's true. So someone told me that they... Listen to me, daughter. The king will die. Yeah, everyone will die. The realm will not accept her. And to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children to the sword. Ooh, yeah, we've seen that before. And by before, I mean in the future. Talking about Game of Thrones. Either you prepare Aegon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. Would she do that? I mean... <laughs> Finally a hug, you bastard. It's your daughter, come on now. But I mean, I guess he, he does sir, have somewhat of a point. That is something that happens in that world, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, someone told me when um, that was his old bro older brother, Otto's. And they were bringing uh, Aegon down and he announced him. Hail, hail, Aegon the Conqueror, babe, second of his name. I thought he wasn't allowed to say that unless he is the heir. Unless I'm remembering that incorrectly. Isn't that the case? I I, th I might be wrong. I'm not saying I'm asking a question. I don't know. That's what I thought, but maybe not.
Where is Lord Corliss? No one's here to receive the king. Welcome to High Tide, Your Grace. What is the meaning of this, Lady Lena? This guy. Oh, he's the hand! King. I didn't even realize, I just noticed that. Okay, that guy. I thought, okay, they made. Time to await Your Grace's arrival. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> this series. Such a mood. This, that remind me of that. Or the intro. Malvales, rare bloom, indigenous to Bravos. Mm. By all rights, it shouldn't be thriving here. Nature, such mystery. Yet she is. The weather has been lovely. Indeed. Talking about Ellis, isn't he? Your father was a good man. As is yours, who took his place. Oh, that's his son. You're perhaps in need of an ally. I'm the queen. I have no shortage of allies. Naturally. Princess Rhaenyra, for example. <laughs> Dismissed the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the princess's chamber. I do hope she's not unwell. Rhaenyra sails with the king to Driftmark. That must have been an error. A relief. Yeah, I thought for Melos himself. That condition must be something very serious. What happiness it is to have been wrong. <laughs> you prick. Oh, who is this guy? Well, I know who he is. But <laughs> I've seen him in the background. Like, I remember that face, but I didn't know that was his son. Okay, cool. So they got that dude to be the hand now. Cousin. Princess. <laughs> His hands are hurt. Ooh, he barely has any fingers left. Very. <laughs> I congratulate you, Lord Lionel. I can think of no man more suited to be the hand of the king. Lionel. There are certain details I would wish clarified before the Princess Rhaenys and I could accept this most generous proposal. What details? Hmm, okay, this is very interesting. You are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter. Simply because she's a woman. I only seek clarity, Your Grace. Uh, might I have a chair brought in for you? I do not. <laughs> I do not require a chair. <laughs> it's the second time he's asked about the chair. I want to give him a chair, just bring the chair. Such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Dragons will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the next hundred years. Mm. Just as they did the okay. last. Interesting. Q. Viser okay, now I kind of see it. Viserys has put himself in a very weak position. This should not go the way it went. An equitable compromise. Good. And he sees it. See, the hand sees it. If there's nothing further. It's like Corlys is the king and Viserys, do you know what I mean? Uh, um. In truth, if I had to be someone. Yeah, okay. That was interesting. I know this union is not what you would choose. I hold nothing against your cousin. No. <laughs> Dare I say it is a matter of taste. She's a really good act. To goose. Actor. It's not for a lack of trying. There are those who like goose very well. I find it a bit greasy for my taste. <laughs> I know that whatever agreement being struck up there will not change your appetites, nor will it change mine. What, what are they talking about? That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm, and when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. Okay. That goose. Okay. That brought a smile to his face. Cry feeder, cry feeder. Perhaps I overextended myself? I think so. My cousin chose to sail into this tempest, husband. It was undignified of the king to drag himself here and beg for Lenor's hand. Yeah, exactly. He and Rhaenyra are walking the coast. Good. Do they seem familiar? They grew up together. <laughs> Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken. She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. Okay. Young. He will outgrow it. Okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. That goose, okay, cool. Crushed. It's what end, call us? Wealth, power, pride? Justice. By all rights, you should be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> queen who never was. Because the realm would not have it so. And I would remedy that small-minded error by any means necessary. I myself have put the business behind me. <laughs> yeah, then. Your betrothed gives you leave of her own free will to continue partaking of. Because I'm the dark of the goose. <laughs> All right, cool. This reminds me of uh oh my god, I forgot his name. The, the Baratheons, one of the you know, one of the Baratheons, the Marjorie one. I forgot his name. <laughs> 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 
You will need a sworn protector. Oh wow, this is actually very similar to the, the Baratheon dude. She has a paramour of her own. I wonder who it is. Hmm, right. Kristen. Because, right, why would she say that if she didn't have anyone of her own, right? I needed to see you, princess. I confess I had a similar desire. <laughs> I, I know you a bit. You know more than a bit. <laughs> this is kind of weird, but also cute. You know what I mean? If there were another path, one that led to freedom, would you tread it? Mm -hmm. She's thinking about it. <laughs> of your inheritance, let us leave it all behind and see the world together. We will be nameless and free. Free to go where we like. Oh, she she does she does like the sound of that, but I don't think she's gonna. You could. <laughs> yeah, she would like to, but uh. There it is, she's back. Yeah. This actress is too good, I swear. She conveyed so much without even saying one word. Same thing goes for Damon in that one one of those episodes. He goes in with a crab yeah, to fight the crab feeders, you know? Doesn't say a single word, but he conveys it all. Do you think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges or a ship to a shy? Ooh. I've gone to leave to pursue his own interests, and in turn, he's gone to be the same. <laughs> so you want me to be your whore? Because obviously. My white knight. I took an oath as a, as a knight of, of your king's guard, an oath of chastity. I've broken it. I, I've, I've soiled my, my, my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. I thought if we were married, I might be able to restore it. The Iron Throne looms larger than me, larger than anyone in my family. So, Kristen. <laughs> that was a good scene. That was a very good scene, and both the actors smashed it, man. You can see Ranera wanting that, everything that he said. But duty calls. And then you could see the pain, the decisions that he has made. Kristen, that is, as well. Very well done. Both of yes. Uh oh. Yeah, okay. The king is sick. He's losing fingers. He has stuff on his body. He's coughing now, too. You've been summoned. His time might be up. Sir Kristen, your grace. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the children are always crying when they're with her. I fear I must question you on a, on a delicate matter, Sir Kristen. Oh, a guy knew about Kristen as well? Oh. Princess Rhaenyra. Oh, he's going to ask about... No, no, no. She's going to ask about Damon because he's the one who stays right next to her. Okay, that's what it is. He's like, oops, not again. <laughs> I've broken my oath once. To question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard, but I'm not unaware that in the flush of youth, there may be errors made. <laughs> They're the same age, right? Yeah. Rather lapses. It happened, your grace. Let her speak. She's talking about Damon. I do. I have committed it. Oh, come on! At her instigation, it is true, but that should... Oh, no! My oath has been broken. Oh, wow, this guy is too innocent. Well... That rather than gelding me and having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully to death. I guess it means that she thinks she didn't lie to her. She said that her Damon didn't touch her, right? Which was a lie, obviously, but... You may go. He's like, what? Did I hear that correctly? <laughs> now that puts her in a very tough position because... I will bring the leeches. 
if I may. Her father, right? He's no longer the hand, and she had a hand in that, so. Wow. Oh, this, oh my god, is that, what the hell is that on his hand? Is that grayscale? I see, like, skin like that, I'm like, yeah, that's grayscale. Okay. I think that's something on his hand. I don't think that is his hand or his skin. Or is that his hand? Will I be remembered as a good king, Lionel? Depends who you ask. Some might call that good fortune. But it hardly makes a good song, does it? Hmm. We sung at feasts in hundred years. Five hundred. Probably forgotten after five, I would say. I often think that in the crucible, I may have been forged a different. Many that are tested only wish to have been spared it. Mm. Yeah, no one's happy in their current position, isn't it? It's one of those things. Rise like egg on the conqueror, given the chance. Your grace, that is your right. You're right. As always. <laughs> it is perhaps best not to know. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I would write my name backwards. I would put my last name as my first and my first name as my last because I liked it better. It's whatever you have, you're just never happy with it. I don't know what it is. By humans. Jason Lannister, Lord Paramount of the West and Master of Castle Rock. Castle Rock. Taller than the wall itself. That dude. That's Otto's bro. I love her expressions, man. You have made a fine match for the princess. Thank you, Lord Jason. I could think of no better man than Selena. Oh, yeah. Jason Derulo, eh? Where is the queen? I understand the queen is still readying herself for the celebration. This is why men wage war. Because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time. <laughs> <laughs> right here, right? Pleasure, Lord Jason. <laughs> You know what? That, that reminds me of that emoji. Put it up here. The one with the squinting eyes. Your Grace. Princess Rhaenyra. Congratulations are in order. That's that dude, right? If he was a guest of Gerald. Gerald, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm at the start. Yes, there it is. I'm very sorry for your loss. Lady Rhea was a unique character. She was very cute, by the way. I don't know what the hell Damon's talking about. House Roy sort of. Is it the dude? Right, yeah. The future king consort. Looks like their necklace has got like bullets. By the way, speaking of necklaces, Renair is no longer wearing that necklace the demon gave her. Oh, Kristen. Oh, my dude. My guy. He fell hard, eh? My betrothed. <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> and this guy. Gotta keep an eye on that one too now. Ooh. Damon. Let's go. <laughs> Be welcome. As we join together in celebration. Queen's still not here. Reaching back to the days of old Valyria and the age of dragons with House Targaryen and ha Valyria? What? It's the Queen! We can unite our. Do you know what color it glows when old town calls its banners to war? Green. Mm. And she's wearing green. Is she calling for war? What a blessing this is for you. <laughs> the joining of the two houses, Your Grace. <laughs> With House Targaryen and House Valarian. Valarian. Seven days of tournament and feasting. 
Uh, it seems like a waste. I'm sure there are plenty that are in need of food. Ah. Going hungry. Yeah. You know, You're you just give all that food to them. And Selena Valarian, the heir to Driftman. She's not clapping. Oh, she's mad. Oh, she mad. <laughs> this guy. To combat. I shall hope for a different outcome. <laughs> well, uh oh. All right, well done, dragons. You might wither in King's Landing, son, but you stood tall. Know that Old Town stands with you. The green. A politicking intensifies. That dude, what's he up to? Men are made to answer for their crimes, even Targaryens. Who are you? <laughs> Royce of Rumstar and begin, <laughs> Sir Gerald. I am making an accusation. You know, in King's Landing, men are made to answer for their slanders. Even old bronze can't like. <laughs> okay, then. Bronze bitches, bronze real. What inheritance? Lady Rhea and I had no heirs, as her husband, whatever she was due, now passes to me. She stood to inherit all of Runestone. Whoa, so did he do that on person? I thought it was an accident. Did you... It was on purpose. Yeah? We'll talk at the end. As pretty as your brother. Well, you flatter me, my prince. I was sorry to hear about your lady wife. Don't be, I wasn't. <laughs> You're very kind to me. Oh, well. So, Kristen Cole, look at him. The man is fully construct. <laughs> All our Targaryen friends are dashing like that. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh! <laughs> that look from Renera back there. I'll keep your voice down. Perhaps that is something we might remedy, Fair Prince. Perhaps it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, this is too good. Rhaenyra is in a difficult position. Allison knows the secret. That dude knows the secret. Yeah. Sir Joffrey Longworth. Joffrey? No, but we are both deeply invested in this union. Speaking. Sir Joffrey. Sir Lena is quite dear to me, as I know. The princess is to you. But we should swear to each other to guard them and their secrets. <laughs> oh man, this is good. This is how you build tension. There's so much happening. Do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. <laughs> this guy <laughs> reminds me of uh, the Stuart dude from Lord of the Rings, Denethor or something. <laughs> oh, this is Oh, she's mad. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh my god, I was gonna say it's a wedding card. That just whole time I'm like, okay. What's going to happen? It's a wedding. This is Westeros. Oh, it's Kristen and Lenor. 
What the hell? Oh, no, no, it's the other dude. What the hell is going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did they put something in his food or something? Oh. Oh, oh he's taking it all out on him. He killed him? Oh my god, what the hell? Yep, he's dead. Yep, he just wish he isn't he ho oh, she sure wishes he was. Oh no. <laughs> Source of life and love. We stand I literally was thinking, like, is this gonna be the first wedding that we get in this damn world where no one dies? Father, father, warrior, smith. That's not true. I mean, we've had a couple of weddings where no one died, but, you know, Sansa and, um... I don't want to say because that might be a spoiler, actually. So let, uh, let me not say then. I'm yours. And you're mine. I'm yours and you're mine. Yeah, remember that? I am yours and you are mine. Oh no, is this dude gonna... The presence of gods and men, I proclaim the Nor of House Velaryon, Rhaenyra... Oh! Carrion, to be man and... Okay then. Sir Criston. Wow. Just gonna use him? Okay, then. The rat was waiting for that. Okay, what an episode that was. There's a lot happening in this one, so... Before I jump into breaking it all down, if you want to see the full length reaction to this and pretty much every episode and show and movie and everything that I've done, if you want early access, you can. It's available on my Patreon link in the description. Check it out. Thank you so much, patrons, YouTube members, subscribers, viewers, commenters, people who share the videos, people who just watch all of you, man. Thank you so much for supporting me all this time. Special shout out to patrons and YouTube members, and uh, yeah, you'll be getting some merch from me for your continued support on Patreon. Like I said, link in the description, check it out. Thank you. Now then, a Westeros wedding without death is not a real wedding. I say that fully knowing that there have been some weddings which has no deaths. I'm not a fan of those. Well, actually, there is one that I'm a fan of, but that goes into spoiler territory. If you have not seen the Game of Thrones, then, you know, I'm not going to mention it. Anyways, so yeah, so... Let's do this. Um, we start off with uh, the tragic event, the accident. Now, is it an accident? Is it not? I'm not. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if it was an accident or it was on purpose from Damon. I'm obviously talking about um the death of his bronze, you know, uh, Leah, Lady Leah. First off, everything Damon said was incorrect. Um, about her looks. That is, we don't know about her personality as much. I mean, from what we saw, she was a bit. Mm, you know, she looked like someone who was kind of like Damon in a way, kind of rebellious, kind of not as someone who doesn't really get along with people because that dude offered help and she's like, ah, whatever, I don't, I want to be on my own, John. I mean, so, but again, that's just one interaction. You can't really judge someone's character on based on that. But if that's all you have and that is all I have, then you could make that statement. Although I don't think it's a... Uh, one that is very reliable because it is based on one interaction. She is then obviously a bit rude towards Damon, but then again, the stuff that Damon has said about her, I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Uh, Damon is a bastard for sure. So um, then Damon comes close to her horse. He's trying to pet the horse. She looks at him. There's worry in her eyes. Fear grabs or tries to grab her weapon. The horse, you know, prances or whatever. And she falls off the horse. She something happens she's unable to move and it seems like Damon is going to walk away and then she says he can't finish which let's be honest he can't 
You've seen it with a few people now, Ranera including, and her and the other one. Forgot her name. <laughs> and so then he comes back and he's like, oh, you know what? I can finish you. So let me do that real quick. And that lovely cut, <laughs> literally. What a brutal start to the episode. So yeah, right from the get-go, dark clouds, although it does get sunny after, but then it rains and dark clouds again, and you're like, all right, cool. So this episode's going to be dark. And then there's a wedding in it, and weddings are normally happy. But this is Westeros. The clouds are dark. It's not raining. Yeah, things are not going to go too well, and they don't. So that dude, whose name's Joffrey... <laughs> he thinks he can use this to his advantage, this information, newfound information, and he could actually. Uh, but it just so happens that he took on the wrong guy. That guy was already down bad. That guy was already, you know, in the fields, basically. And uh, you don't want to mess with that kind of a person. You kind of want to distance yourself a bit, give them some time. But he didn't know that, though, that it was that recent. I don't know. Maybe he did. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, and then something happens. I suppose they do a little bit of back and forth, and the guy's missing half his face, pretty much. And they actually show you his half missing face, you know? The face that isn't there. They show you it not being there. Like, what are you doing, show? And there's Viserys eating like a like the boar he is. Eating like Denethor, I believe that's his name. And Viserys, speaking of Viserys. All right, so that guy, uh, I kind of get it now. He he is kind of a weak king. I mean, he, he's got good character. He's a very decent man, that's for sure. As king, uh, I guess he's a good king because there's peace. Well... Um, what? So he's not that bad, but he has put himself in such a position. Uh, he He's in a very weak position, right? No one welcomes him when he goes to see the Valarians. The negotiations, you know, that takes place, the, he's not in charge. It's It literally seems like Coralus is the king and he is the one begging, like just like Rainy said, begging for their son. That's not how that's supposed to go. These are one... The Targaryens and two, they are in power, you know, should be the other way around, but it isn't. And I believe it is due to the king's actions, the lack of action he took in the crab feeders war thingy, right? The decision he made with um, Alicent and so on and so forth against the advice of his counselors or whatever, member of the council. That dude who's his hand now against his advice, although like I said, he's a decent man, so as a decent man, saying no to a 12 year old is a good thing. So that's why I'm like, I like this guy as a guy, as a dude. He's my dude. I like him. But as a king, someone who has to watch over the realm, you know, mm, it's not so good, is he? And so because of all that, he's a bit desperate and he's making moves in desperation. And that never that never really leads to anything good. Alicent, here's something quite devastating from her father. What uh, Rhaenyra might have to do if... There is some sort of a rebellion. What will happen or m might happen to Aegon? He says it will, but might happen to Aegon. Uh, if there is unrest, which he thinks there for sure will be, and that is not an easy thing for anyone to hear, let alone a mother, right? Alicent hears that. Alicent decides to inquiries, although the first sort of inquiry was not really hers. That was Larry or whatever that dude's name is. Uh, we have seen him a couple of times in the background, but this is sort of the first time we see him and, you know, being part of a, the scene as like a like an important element of the scene, not just some guy in the background, do you know what I mean? And he approaches her and he tells her something that is quite intriguing, something that she is actually thinking about and something that she needs the answers to, you know? And so then she goes to Kristen Cole because Kristen Cole is someone who watches her closely, is always with Rhaenyra and so he would know what happened and so he is already feeling guilty as we saw in the previous scene which was amazing by the way I thought that guy Kristen Cole and Rhaenyra were so good this entire episode they were so good they outdid themselves the slight looks and just ah oh, this whole episode but that scene in particular in the ship was so good you could see Rhaenyra's the feelings she was having, the, the thoughts that she was having. You can see those thoughts literally, visually, with each expression. She, she's a very expressive person. We saw that in previous episodes as well with her 
And then we see him, how much that means to him, what he's saying to the princess at that point. And then later on, well, we see what happens. But yeah, she he doesn't really let Allison tell the whole thing. And he just straight up says, okay, I did it. And Allison's like, uh huh? Well, that's not what I was going to ask, but okay then. The truth is what I was seeking. I got it. Yay. Rhaenyra then, during that dance, dance with dragon, sort of <laughs> teasing Damon. Marriage is just a political arrangement. Well, that's that's what she made it be. I mean, that that's what it is anyways, because I don't think none of them agreed to this. They only agreed because they have to. So it is a political arrangement. She's like, all right, if that's what you believe and that's what I believe now too because of you, well, let's do it then. I don't know what's going to happen there. Like I said, I have not read the book, so I don't know what exactly will happen in the future. So don't, no spoilers, please. But I do know one thing, a dance with dragons. So there were a few dragons that were dancing in that episode. And then there's the entrance that Alison makes, which is quite interesting. Wearing the colors of the flame of Hightower, which is what they use when they want to declare war. So she's declaring war Cool. War against Rhaenyra. So this is actually pretty interesting if you think about it. So the show started off as these two being very close to each other and just sort of being best friends. Besties, right? And those two are now at war with each other. So that's going to be quite interesting. That scene was so intense, that whole wedding scene. My goodness, nobody said anything. It was just dances and just looks that people were exchanging. And it was one of the most intense sequences that I had seen. And it, it was so well done, man. Um, I thought the actors, all of them were amazing. And then the king, as he was sick the entire, episode and the episodes before that as well falls down he's bleeding from his nose and uh there's blood there and the rats come in the feast on the blood which could be like imagery i don't know symbolism whatever this isn't my first language for all these people just waiting for the king to die and feasting on his blood Renera and aegon yeah Things are becoming very interesting, politically interesting, and I'm loving all these politicking. I don't even know if that's a real word or if that even means what I think it means, but I heard Viserys use it and he's the king and I'm a... <laughs> I bend the knee, you know, I'm on my knees often. What? Who? Pause. Who said that? Anyways, so yeah it's very interesting i am looking forward to the next episode very much so if you are as well you can see it earlier on my patreon link in description full length reaction there as well thank you so much everyone for watching the episode i hope you enjoyed it do let me know what are your thoughts on this one because this was quite interesting a lot happened it was a very slow episode but a lot was still happening do you know what i mean it was slow but it wasn't it was kind of interesting i, I really liked the episode anyways let me know what your thoughts are and i'll see you guys in the next episode until then, have a nice.